Hello, my friends, and welcome to Five for the Future for this week, the week of October 7th. Let's jump into the five topics that stood out to me recently as signals of change that could impact your small business. Ready to get started? Here are our five topics for this week. Self-driving vehicles, privacy and AI, remote work, women in business, and small business opportunities. Women in business. Women are in top positions at large corporations more than in the past, but it turns out that they still significantly lag behind men. First, a new study looking at 10 years of roles and promotions showed that most C-suite women work in jobs that don't lead to a CEO job like HR and marketing. In addition, the share of women at lower level manager positions has only grown by two points from 2014 to 2024, which means a smaller pool of women to continue to move up the ranks. Meanwhile, due to political pressure, more firms have dropped their corporate diversity programs and the priority of promoting women and minorities altogether. Another study shows that the share of women in high tech industry has barely budged over the past two decades, even as the number of jobs in that industry has risen greatly. In 2005, women made up 22% of high tech workers. And in 2022, they made up 22.6% of workers. Sad. And the story is no better for minorities. So what does this mean for you and your small business? What's the best way to find new talent for your small business? Look for those underappreciated talent at big business. These statistics represent an opportunity for you to recruit high-level employees to your workforce when they're not getting their promotions at the big companies. And similar to those workers seeking flexible work schedules, perhaps we'll see more women and minority-owned businesses after this group of intelligent, experienced, capable individuals sees no path forward in big business. What might the future look like? It's naive to think that talented women and minorities are only being overlooked by old white men who'll be retiring, which would solve the problem. Unfortunately, I think this bias continues to exist and we'll have to continue to battle it. What does that mean for the future? Maybe more entrepreneurs and startups who are sick of the unfair rules in big corporations. Go small business. Change is coming to five for the future, but the focus isn't changing at all. So stay tuned to learn more in the coming weeks. And that's it for this week. Thanks for watching.